Hey guys, Sean C. Phillips here with Jaron Mitchell. And you guys may recognize Jaron from Haunted High. We were the, you know, the group, he was the one of the kids that was, you know, breaking into the school in Haunted High. And you may recognize him from 21 Jump Street. Who are you in 21 Jump Street? I played Sanders. Yeah, and if you watch the deleted scenes, you have a bunch more stuff. Yes. In the on dialogue. the Blu-ray one, yes, sir. A lot more dialogue and stuff inside. But where you know we finished shooting some crazy scenes for the new <laughs> the new sci-fi film Ghost Shark. Check it out. And we decided to go to the movies to see that's House on the End of the Street. Is that the name? Yes, House on the End of the Street, starring Jennifer Lawrence and Max Daria. Yeah, because we the name it's kind of can get confused because there's like House Last House on the Left uh, one years back called House on the Edge of the Park. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there was a name, movie like this in the '80s with the same kind of name. But what, what did you think of the movie? I guess I guess we could talk first about what it was about. Okay. Um, first off, it was basically the story about a mother and daughter moving into this town, and they moved next door to this house that supposedly had murders going on next door with it, and uh, it's basically going one of those good who done it, what happened type scenarios. Yeah, because it starts like with these this this girl killing their parents yeah and then it's five four or five years after that yeah. and then jennifer lawrence and her mother elizabeth shoe move into this house and then it ends up being the things i guess Sorry, he guys. wants to get into it yeah. but it ends up being you know when they get there okay <laughs> okay we got sidetracked for a second right. <laughs> but when they end up getting there the there's a um son still living in this nice. house and it's really weird. Everyone's like, why is he still there? Because the mother was killed, and the sister who killed them has gone missing. Right. Well, they believe that she died in a lake, but there's all these stories going around that the sister's still alive and haunts the woods. So it's that kind of a yeah. thing. It's and, kind of like a whodunit. Yeah, and then Jennifer Lawrence's character meets the kids at school, and they're, she doesn't really like them. So she's leaving a party one night and leaving in the rain, and she ends up seeing the kid. The kid yeah the next door neighbor and she ends up picking him she picked the guy picks her up takes her home and the mother's like why are you with him you know right, what in the world right, were you doing right, with him right. and yeah, it ends up a mother yeah scared for her daughter and stuff like that and there's like a tension between her new friend and the mother the mother hearing the stories listening to the neighbors and stuff like that and there's something weird about the guy yeah. he just seems real weird and very you know just something's just up with the yeah. guy but she seems to like him because the mother's always saying that she always latches on to the kind of damaged, guys. damaged people and trying to fix them up. Make sure that they're all right. Yeah. But, you know, and then things happen. You know, there were some interesting developments in the movie. I said, I think the only thing that was kind of a negative point was some of the writing in it was yes. not perfect. Yes. There was some sort of cheesy, cheesy dialogue. dialogue. Yeah. That scary movie, I have to put this in there to make it really, really cheesy. Yeah. yeah. Like the kind, like the kids at school, like some of their sequences were just not up to par with the other stuff. Absolutely. And Jennifer Lawrence was almost too strong of an actress for that the role she played. Like she's so, she's really good. Yeah. Really and did really you see good. Winter's Bone? I did. Yeah, she was really good in Fantastic Winter's Bone. In that strong, you know, she, she's strong. very. And, but I think people should definitely see this one. It is a kind of a cut up PG-13 yeah. though. Like if someone gets shot, there's no blood right. and things like that. So maybe when it comes out on Blu-ray, it'll be an uncensored one. I don't know, though. It's still, it's still in all, though, it was a fun movie. You know? It was. I, I think that the director was going for a specific take on it, um, mm -hmm. on the genre, trying to keep something fresh, which it was. Uh, just like any other scary movie, though, there's nitpicky things. It just so happens that some of the things in this one were kind of weird. Yeah, some Not weird ass. where he was going with it. But for the most part, overall, it wasn't a bad film at all. I would recommend going see it. And Sinister it though, that one we both yes. agree though, that one we're really looking forward to really seeing. Really looking good. <laughs> that one looks really cool. I've heard some really good reviews on that, like pre-early reviews. That yeah. other one, Mama, that looks Mama, okay, yeah. but that looks like kind of something we've seen Sinister, before. Yeah. And, Gorilla, and, and maybe the director, uh, Gamero Del Toro. Del Toro, yeah. His last one was, it was decent, but it wasn't yeah. like uh, anything I was expecting. Was, I, I could pretty much foreshadow what was going to happen in the movie. You know, yeah, and I kind of think like that's what that's what that one's going to turn out to be as well. Now, out of rating, out of ten stars, what would you say about this? Um, I would probably give this one about seven and a half, eight. Yeah, not perfect. Not a perfect movie, but it was but fun, fun, and for yeah. what it was, it really was a fun movie. A little bit different, a little bit like kind of a lot like an '80s movie yeah. too, like a kind of an old, like late '80s kind of movie like this. 
with you know pretty good acting for the most part. Oh, I thought yeah, everyone was, was good. Everyone great, was pretty, good. Really good. And the kid, you know, the next door neighbor who's the creepy one, he played creepy well. That actor. Yes. He was yeah. very good. And it wasn't like that over the top yeah, or anything. It, it was, was subtle. It was very mm -hmm. very subtle. Mm -hmm. The performances weren't like extravagant to the point where they had to be over the top. They kept it nice and they kept it internal to the point where they almost felt like you could relate to them. Like yeah. You could live next to a person. But overall, I would definitely say this is worth seeing. Yes. I thought it was a fun horror movie. And, you know, I don't know if we'll see anything else while we're here, but if we do, we maybe have another review with us. We'll <laughs> see. So I'll see you guys later. And see us, you know, if you haven't seen Haunted High, definitely check that out. Check out Jaren in 21 Jump Street. And yeah. we'll see you guys later. Bye, guys. Bye.